Hi there, welcome to Priori Digital Studio Tutorial. I'm Alice and after six months of selling on Etsy, I've received a ton of requests on how to create and sell online. So I thought, why not sharing some templates with you all? So to kickstart your business journey, I'll walk you through the seamless setup and utilization of our PLR templates. Today, I'll be using a bookkeeping template as an example, but remember, all our PLR works the same way. In this video, I'll guide you through opening our templates, customizing them to fit your business branding. So stay tuned till the end for some insight that could make all the difference in your online success. Now let's dive in into opening your spreadsheets. You will receive your order via email directly from Etsy, or you can find the downloadable files directly on your Etsy account. Simply click on your account icon, then on purchase and reviews. Once you downloaded all the files, click on the file called Google Sheets Access Link. You should see a PDF file like this one. Click on the button and wait a few seconds, a tab will open in your browser. Click on Make a Copy and a copy of the customizable template will be copied into your Google Drive. You will need a Google account for this, but don't worry, creating a Google account is totally free and can be done in a few clicks. Your order will also come with multiple files like a customizable README instruction file for your future customers, the access to this YouTube tutorial, our master resale rights, disclaimer and guideline, and more. Moreover, you can always contact us on Etsy if needed. Now I will show you how to customize your template to make it unique and make it easier to sell online. First thing, we protected cells with formulas to avoid accidental deletion of formulas or atomization. So if you see this message, it means you are not supposed to delete the content of this cell. But don't worry, I will guide you through rebranding and customizing your spreadsheet. So stick around. So as you can see, there are small locks on the tabs, which means that some ranges are locked within the spreadsheet. To unlock the range, simply click on Data, then Protect Sheets and Ranges, then click on Cancel, then click on the Protection, then click on change permission. Then simply click on restrict who can edit this range and select only you. Finally, click on done. Then to close this panel, you can simply click on done. So once you've done the modification and you are ready to sell your spreadsheet, you can put the protection back again to avoid customer deleting important formulas. To do so, you can do the same process and click on show a warning when editing this range and then click on done. Then you can easily change the colors to fit your branding. Simply select the cell, then click on the little paintbrush and select the color that fits your branding. So in this example, let's take light blue. As you can see, we did not remove the protection, so you can simply click on OK. So now your cell is blue. You can also create color themes with your spreadsheets directly in Google Sheets. Simply go to Format, Theme, then click on Customize. As you can see, you have six accent colors as well as color for text and charts background. Make sure that the colors fit your branding so that the customers find your shop and products coherent. To find nice colors for your template, you can use tools like Canva or Colors. Now let's have a look on how to change the fonts. To change the font, you can simply select the cell where you want to make the change and select the font that fits your needs. You can also click on more fonts if the ones that are proposed there are not the ones that you're interested in. Simply do a quick research and you will find the font that you are looking for. If you want to change the font or the colors in several cells, you can simply click on Control then select multiple cells, then change the color. So click on the paintbrush and choose your favorite color. Finally, I strongly suggest you add more features and offer a unique product to your customers. You can easily customize this template by adding an additional tab. To do so, simply click on the plus sign and then a new tab will appear. To change the name of the tab, simply double click on the tab and rename it. I strongly suggest that you make this template your own so you can differentiate yourself on the market. 
If you found value in this video, hit the like button. And if you want more tutorials on our PLR templates, subscribe to stay updated. Cheers to your success.